Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Today I'm coming to you from Garden Ridge, Texas, in the brand new community of Hymer Estates. This community is going to be either a half acre or a 0.75 acre lot community. Behind me is a move in ready home built by Chessmar Homes. This is the Kaylee plan. This plan is, let me get this right, 3,274 square feet, four bedrooms. 3.5 baths and something unique about this house I mentioned in a lot of my videos before builders really don't like to have homes sit on the market once they're completed so they're offering an embarrassingly high realtor commission but they also gave um, if you use their lender the realtor the ability to rebate that commission back to any potential buyers and you can use that to either buy down the price of the house or buy down the rate for it and uh, okay hold on to your butts it, it would be like if you're using me i would be able to give back approximately sixty six thousand dollars because yeah i don't need a crazy high realtor commission that's just insane so i'll be able to give that back to you guys to do really what you wish with it anyways let's go check out this gorgeous home this is an absolutely beautiful plan. It looks familiar. This is the same model home plan that Chesmar used in uh, Mesa Western. I absolutely love this community. Comel ISD, um, the, high, the new high school is kind of just off that way a little bit. So we've got a brand new high school. Comel ISD has a great reputation, but look at these oak trees. They're just beautiful oak trees out here rolling hills you've got such easy access to everything either in shirts texas or uh if you go down uh 2252 you can get to uh highway 1604 and that gives you easy access to everything it's a beautiful day in texas so of course i rode my bike as i'm filming this it is mid-may 2024 uh we've been having a lot of overcast and misting and we finally got a good storm yesterday and it kind of washed all of that away and now we finally got blue skies again so i can get back to videoing and no humidity so it's really really nice as i'm filming it's we're in the mid 80s right now which isn't too bad especially for may but love the uh, upscaled shingles on this roof and the color patterns and they do have the side entrance garage on this the house does have sprinklers in it all the way around let me go down through here but yeah i do love how chessmar builds homes they really kind of stand behind and if you see this cul-de-sac back behind there they're not going to be building that's going to be drainage area back there trust me no risk for flooding out here if you don't believe me look at the fema maps but um, this road, we're gonna see that when we open up the side of the house. It is gonna continue back a little bit. All right, love the front of this house. All right, before we go inside, here's where I always hit you up for. Hit that like button if you haven't done so already because it, it has been helping my algorithms. I have seen my viewership start to pick back up again because you guys are hitting that like button. So I definitely appreciate that. Double doors coming in. So it doesn't have everything all pre-done because this is not a model home. This house is actually on the market right now. Really nicely done. Oh, and if you used all 66K that I can gift, get back, I don't want to say gift, but because yeah, that's silly. This house would only cost uh, 877 approximately, but you would have an office right there. Or like I said, you can take 20K to buy the rates down because as of mid-May, rates are 7.12 was just insane so getting that rate down to in the fives would be really nice okay the three bedrooms are all back in this corner they do have a full bath very nicely done love how they did the tile on the flooring so here's uh one of the bedrooms decent size Good height on the ceilings, eight foot doors throughout. Kind of a standard closet here, nothing fancy. That's just a little closet there, no need to show that. But another good sized bedroom. This closet can be a little bit nicer, it can be a little deeper. So, yeah, if you got kiddos, they can beat each other up to see which, who gets what closet. 
Now closets definitely matter. This bedroom's definitely gonna be a step up because it's got access to its own private bath. Ooh, I haven't opened up this closet yet. Okay, just like the other one, fairly deep little mini walk-in, but this is what sets this bedroom apart, especially if you've got an older kid or relatives want to stay. This makes a perfect guest bedroom because it has its own full bath in it. All, right, all of that is on this side of the house. And I'm gonna have a layout of the house at the end of this video as well. So don't click off too soon. Stick around a little bit, it's okay. All right, you got your little powder room up there. And I love this main living space, tall ceilings. Um, that light you see up there is gonna be blocked for a big ass fan if you wanna put that in. So you definitely could go down and do whatever shopping you want to do, pick out the really cool fan. I love this kitchen, but wow, this living space is really nice. Little room to do whatever you want to there if you want to put some furniture on the side. They took the stone fireplace all the way to the ceiling. And they've got a little plug for if you want to plug in your motorized couch. All right, let's check out this kitchen. I do love the two islands, so one can be functional. And another one's gonna be just kind of where everybody hangs out if you're hosting a party, because we all know that's where they hang out at. And this area back here is your breakfast nook space. Love lots of windows, lots of light in here. Uh, we have GE appliances for the cooktop, for the oven there. This is gonna be GE's step up from it, the profile series, microwave on that side. And the cooktop, this is a gas community and they went with the cafe cooktop, uh, which cafe is gonna be GE's highest end product. So I definitely like how they did that. Uh, I just got a cafe refrigerator put in my house and I absolutely love it. Kind of your standard GE uh, dishwasher, single basin sink. Here's the view from the sink. And if you wanna do like me and got, get a cafe refrigerator to match uh, your other appliances, it can go right there. All right, let's check out the pantry. I realized I didn't turn the light on. Or, there it is. All right, pretty good sized pantry. Kind of goes around a bit. That's a really good sized pantry, actually. And this is going out to the garage. Here's your laundry room. It's got a sink already in it. Like I said, this house is moving ready right now as of March, I mean May, 2024. Uh, three car garage, this kind of set up a little uniquely. Uh, this is coming in from the side of the house because you got this whole bay here, which is kind of like a one and a half. You can fit a car in here, comfortably open up your doors, or if you had a golf car, motorcycle, whatever it is you wanted to park right there. Plum for water softener, uh, two, water heaters right there. And I do kind of like how it's all finished out already and it's got these windows. Really nicely done. And you got your little mud room when you come in if you want to hang some backpacks, put some shoes. Uh, I believe these are gonna be drawers. Yep, you can put little drawers in there if you want to put your shoes in. If you're one of those folks who don't like anybody walking on floor, put your little sandals in there and say people take your shoes off, put your sandals on and then move about the house. But as you can see, lots and lots of counter space in here. So it's really nice to have. I wonder if this opens up, I doubt it. Nope, it does not. All right, master bedroom's over there, but I'm gonna show that, leave that to last. Over here, we got a really neat game room. Now, if you're choosing the Kaylee plan and building from dirt, this could be converted to a fifth bedroom if you wanted to. But as they built it, this is gonna be a game room. And yes, you can put your own fan in there, do whatever you want to with it. They've got a uh, um, HDMI port on the wall right there. So yeah, you can make this into a really fancy TV room. Yeah, closet, just kind of a little game closet there. Nothing special about that. But it's kind of nice having your separate game room, especially if you and your spouse, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, if your spouse are watching different things, you can go into that room and watch whatever the heck you wanna watch. All right, let's check out this outdoor living space. 
I absolutely love Garden Ridge. It is in the Texas Hill Country. So we're gonna have some little noise out here. But yeah, big, big space out here. I love that little extra spot kind of shelf there. It's kind of neat. Uh, the sun sets on the front uh, right hand side of the house. So you're gonna have shade out here just fine. Uh, of course it gets louder. Um, but you see the little purple post there? That's the depth of the property going back. Beautiful oak tree, but it looks like some knucklehead decided to spray paint S plus S on there. I'm thinking that's what happened because that definitely spray paint. And yeah, there's the dump truck dumping dirt because they're getting ready to put the foundation on. This is a septic community, uh, but everything else comes with it. Natural gas, uh, electrical, uh, high-speed internet. Um, if you saw on the map, we are on the back part of the community, but you can see there is a road that's getting ready to, eventually gonna go back down that way. I don't have a crystal ball, but I would expect who's ever building it back there would leave some of these trees up uh, down the road if they get that far, because they're gonna want a little privacy too. All right, remember this is 0.55 acres. So big enough for some privacy, but not so big that you stress about maintaining it. All right, coming back in now, we're gonna, hopefully you're still with us. We're gonna check out the master bedroom and bath. Plenty of space in here, lots and lots of light. You have your tray ceiling. Got your French doors going into the bathroom. Love the what they did with the dual counter space. I actually, in my personal residence, we had a, a very long vanity, yeah. big of vanity. So I have a friend of mine that does carpentry work. He built my own little shelf that's like this, but I don't have these fancy doors on it. But it's real nice if you want to put your toothpaste, mouthwash, all that stuff in there, instead of having everything just kind of scattered on the countertops like well, what we usually see. But you do have medicine cabinets for that as well. And more light coming in from up top. Big, big walk-in shower. Really nice and done. Love the fact they took the tile work all the way to the top. And they got a good size soaking tub right there as well. This is going to be your water closet. Yep, nothing fancy there. All right, let's check out the master bedroom closet. All right, we have the an off-season rack because right now it's getting kind of warm in Texas. There's no need to have a bunch of sweaters and coats in. So you put those up there until you're getting ready to need them come like late October. But wow, check out the size of the shoe rack or boot rack, whatever you like to collect. That's lots of space right there. Lots and lots of hang up space that back here and more back behind on this side. So yeah, lots of space to hang up everything you might want to hang up. Lots and lots of drawers in this bathroom and I kind of like the mirrors as well. So beautifully planned home, lots and lots of incentives in this house. Um, I'm gonna have my contact information in the description box. And uh, yeah, if you want to reach out to me, feel free to. I absolutely love it when viewers become clients. And I like this plan. I've had other people that really like this model home plan in Mesa Western, but they weren't thrilled about the community. So if you like this plan, this is gonna be a lot more out in the country field community here in Garden Ridge. All right, that's gonna do it for tour of the Kaylee plan built by Chesmar Homes in the Heimer Estates community of Gar in Garden Ridge. Now, remember the asking price is 943, but if you're using me as your realtor, uh, like I mentioned those crazy uh, commissions that they wanna pay me, it's like I could pass majority of that on to you guys. And that would be equivalent of $66,000 that you can use to either pay the rate down or price down or both. You can do both. It's up to you. It's your money. You can do what you want. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel. But most importantly, if you know someone considering moving to the area and they don't already have a real estate agent, 
please feel free to share this video with them. I'll be happy to help. It doesn't cost you anything to use a real estate agent buying new construction from what I found. There's some lawsuits going on, but for new construction, every builder that I've talked to, they're gonna pay realtors because they want realtors to keep bringing them clients. So I'm kinda glad I specialize in new construction and in this whole area that people are still moving to. So feel free to reach out to me, I'm happy to help. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now, bye.